Hello, my name is Mark Blaskovich, and I'm here to invite you to help COAD, the Community for Open Antimicrobial Drug Discovery, uncover new antibiotics. There's been a lot of attention in the popular press in recent years to the superbug crisis, and this reflects a real threat posed by the rise of microorganisms that are becoming resistant to all known antibiotics. We face a return to a pre-antibiotic error where simple infections lead to death. This perfect storm is caused by a series of events, so the increase in antimicrobial resistance coupled with a sharp decline in the number of new antibiotics that are being approved every year. And this is largely driven by the exit of almost all major pharmaceutical companies from antibiotic research. We need new approaches to uncover antibiotics and reinvigorate the antibiotic pipeline. COAD is our attempt to find a solution to this problem. We believe that we're screening the wrong types of molecules to find new antibiotics. We also believe that there's uncovered chemical diversity in academic labs around the world that need to be tested for antimicrobial activity. With the help of funding from the Wellcome Trust and the University of Queensland, we're offering free screening to the global chemistry community to uncover new antibiotics. We screen against five bacteria and two fungi for free. Now, antibiotics are not drug-like, so if drug-like filters are being applied to compounds before they're tested, they're going to remove a lot of antibiotics before they're even looked at. Similarly, antibiotics often don't look drug-like. They often have reactive functionalities that a medicinal chemist would then discard them from further development. If you look at the physical chemical properties of antibiotics, they differ significantly from those of drug-like compounds that are being filtered for oral availability. So if you compare log P molecular weight plot of commercially sourced libraries with those of an academic compounds that have known antibiotic activity, you see a large difference in the physical chemical space. Now, COAD has done a pilot study to validate our workflow and tested over 160,000 compounds. The majority of these were from drug-like commercial libraries, but over 20,000 of them were from academic sources. And if you look at the hit rate for growth gram-positive and gram-negative organisms, the academic collection had a much higher hit rate. Now, what do we need from you? We need a milligram of pure compound, and it needs to be soluble in water or DMSO. It also needs to be stable in solution. In return, we'll give you the screening results against five pathogenic bacteria and two fungi. If there are any hits from your compounds, we'll do follow-up testing for minimum inhibitory concentration, counter-screening for cytotoxicity, and further assays. Most importantly, you retain all the rights to your compounds. You can publish the results, you can patent the results, and you can develop the compounds if you so desire. We have a website at www.coad.org, which gives further information about our program, and there's a simple Send Compounds button, which brings up an online submission form. Thank you for your attention, and I hope this talk inspires you to send us compounds for testing.